We can create many types of controls in a Spotfire text areas, such as dropdowns, sliders, and buttons. There are two major types of controls, action controls and property controls. The action controls can open Spotfire tools that work on the range of filtered or marked data, apply bookmarks, or navigate to a certain page or visualization in the analysis. It can also refresh the data function calculations, run a script, or export a report in PDF format. This could be very handy if you intend to share your analysis with other people. Let's have a look at a practical example. I've got an analysis containing Airbnb listings for all of London. You can see the average price for each borough color-coded in the map chart, average price per room and the most expensive boroughs. I want to add a button that will give me that information only for the central boroughs. I will first mark only the boroughs that I'm interested in. I will then create a bookmark and call it Central Boroughs. And now I can go to Edit Text Area, select Insert Action Control, and I will give this action control an appropriate name, something like Central Boroughs. Then from Available Actions, I will select Bookmarks and select Central Boroughs. I will leave the control type as button and I will click OK. I will just right click on my action control, format the control and change the size maybe to 12. And I will save my text area. Now, if I click on central boroughs button, you can see that only the central boroughs that I have selected previously appear on my analysis. With action controls, you can also create a button that brings the user to a certain page in the analysis. I will go to Edit Text Area and insert again an action control. But this time, from the available options, I will select Pages and Visualizations. And then I will select Properties by Review Score, which is my next page. I will write an appropriate title, maybe next page. Leave the control type as button and click OK. I will again format the action control, change the size to 12. And save my text area. Now, if I click on next page, you can see the properties by review score page of my analysis. Finally, I will show you how to create a report. I'll go to File, Export, and select To PDF. I'll choose Prepare Report, New, and leave it as a New Report. I'll save it and close this dialog box. I'll go back to Properties by Price, select Edit Text Area, and I will import an action control. This time I'll select Export Report, and from Available Reports, I'll select New Report. As Display Text, I'll write down Generate Report. I'll click OK, and as before, I'll edit the format Save the text area and when I click on Generate Report, Spotfire directs me to the Save As dialog box where I can choose a location for my report. And that was it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next quick tip.